Adventure Quest 3D 2022 High Saviors GH here. Today we're gonna do an Adventure Quest 3D gameplay from the beginning to show you guys what it's like playing the game from the start. Adventure Quest 3D is a cross-play tab targeting fantasy MMORPG and with that said, let's do this. Let's go play the game, okay guys? Here's the character creation, and I think these are the classes. Here's the mage, here's the warrior. I think I played as a warrior the last time I played, so we're not gonna play as a warrior. Now here's the rogue, and then healer. I don't think I'm gonna play as a healer, so probably rogue or mage. We're gonna play as a mage. Now here's the gender selection. We can be a female mage or a male mage. Let's play as a female mage. Now let's play as a male mage. And here is the character customization, guys. If you're lazy, you can just randomize your look. Look at this. Before we try to randomize our look, let me show you guys the different customization that you can do. And this is the part where you change your hairstyle. There's about 31 hairstyles. Look at them. Most of them are unique. And it surprisingly looks good. Even this one. Nice. Okay, what is this? Braid. Oh, some kind of, uh, what's that? On the ear. Ear hair. <laughs> Okay, anyway, braid, six braids. And then we can have a beard, if you want beards. About 17 beards, guys. And then a stash, a mustache, 12 mustache. And then we can change our hair color over here. About 36 hair color. Then skin color, we can pick from about 28 colors. 21 for the eye color and 30 for the lip color. Now let's randomize our look. Nope, feels plain. Again, looks like Aquaman. Randomized look, again, looks like an undead, again, man, not liking this, is that Saitama? Okay, let's go, let's place this one, continue, character name, create, and we're in the game, there goes the tutorial, look around, click and drag, okay, we need to hold the right mouse button to be able to move the camera, okay, here we go, we can move with WASD, can we point and click? Nope. We cannot point and click. It's this action. I forgot the combat of this game. It's been about a year since the last time I played this game. Okay, and anyway, we need to go over here. And there it goes. Follow the arrow. What arrow? Okay, this arrow over here. We need to follow it. And there goes our weapon. King Arthur style. We're gonna pull it. Click to pick up weapon. Clicking it. There it goes. We got the weapon. And now we need to hunt down this undead over here. How can we attack? Okay, we can jump in space. Oh, the game is tab targeting. Look at this. And then, how about let's try using this skill, Fireball. Oh yeah, the game is tab targeting, guys. It just feels a bit weird because you cannot point and click, but this works. The game is asking me to click this, loot all, inventory, torn cloak, equip. Okay, we equipped a cloak. Wow, it's a hobo cloak. It works, let's go. Now we need to slay more skeletons. Oh, click on enemy to select target. Okay, there goes Fireball. Fireball them up. Another one shot. Let, oh, I think we hit him with critical. Oh. So this game is one of those MMORPGs we're in. If you just spam the skill or attack button, you will automatically target an enemy. So yeah. If you like those kinds of MMORPGs, then here it is. Look at this. I'm spamming too. The fireball button. And look at this. I keep attacking enemies. There we go, we're done with the quest. Now I need to hunt down the Bone Berserker. Oh, we have a new skill. What's this? Ice Spear. Okay, let's try it. Ice Spear. Ice Spear him up. Then Fireball. I don't think we need to use the Ice Attack because this is an undead. Dodge, dodge. Oh, okay. So it's a tab targeting game with some action elements because there are telegraphed attacks. Look at that. Attack! Finish him up. Man, he likes to attack with area attacks. Level up. Now what? Can we loot? What's this? Some kind of a... Is this a dragon? Okay, click it. New stats. Okay, okay. Then what? Now I need to click tap on death. What? Oh, uh, I thought I need to click the dead boss. 
Turns out there's a death NPC over here. I remember this guy. Talk to him. Loading cutscene. Skip the cutscene. Guys, if you are interested in the story, you just gotta have to play the game. Skip. Turn in the quest. Okay, now I need to find the death's door, which is this door over here. Man, for a game that's about 150 megabytes, this looks decent. Man, I played a lot of MMORPGs and most of them are about 5 gigabytes, 10 gigabytes. And they still look like crap. <laughs> but look at this. I think this game is about 130 plus MB. I'm not so sure. But about that file size. Okay, anyway. There goes the death's door. Open it. Oh, we need to attack the death's door. Okay. Fireball it up. And the door is opened. I think we need to fight this guy. And he's gonna beat us. Loading cutscene. Skip this. He's trying to look cool over there. Skip. I'm not gonna give you the opportunity to look cool. And he still smashed me. What the what? Okay, skip. And more cutscene. And there's a summoner over here. What the? Excuse me. Man, skip the conversation. And I think this is the first area. And our first quest is slay void rakar minions. Okay, let's find those void rakar minions. It's this guys. Hunt them down. Which is better, the ice attack or the fireball attack? Oh, I think I can use them both. Because the cooldown of the fireball attack is somewhat, you know, sometimes it takes a while before it cools down. So we need to use the ice attack too. We're done with the quest. Now I need to talk to an NPC. All Drake. There he goes. Look at this, people playing. Talk to this NPC. No villager fights like that. Who are you? Skip. Turn in the quest. Okay. I think he gave me something. Let's try wearing it. Open up our bag. Oh, wait a minute. You gave me something, right? I think I already equipped it. No, I need to finish the quest first before I get the armor. No, I need to finish the quest first before I need to get before I get the armor. Now we need to rescue villagers, which is over here. Okay, there goes the first villager. Rescue him. But this guy is aggro. Hunt him down. There was another one over here. Ooh! Man, I accidentally attacked this one because if you just press the scale, it will automatically attack the nearest enemy. There goes another NPC over here. Greg, and we're done with the quest. Nope, we're not done with the quest. Jump. There goes another NPC over here. Rescue her. Oh, we're done with the quest. What's happening? Let's turn over the quest. All drag. Turning in the quest. There it goes. We got some armor. Close this. Now I need to speak to Gladwin Lars. Okay. Opening up the inventory. And there goes, we got some wrist plate equipment. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, cash up time guys. Before we talk to the NPC. Here it is. Shops. And before we check out the items over here, we're gonna check out the prices. Get dragon crystals. The cash up currency is called dragon crystals. And as you've seen over here, I have some dragon crystals. Because in this game, if you just play, you can get the cash up currency. Now, where's the prices? Okay, there it goes. 200 dragon crystals is 2 USD. 100, 1 USD. Okay. Now let's check out the bundles over here. There's two bundles. Now, if you have 20 USD, you can get this Guardian bundle, which includes 2,500 dragon crystals, the Guardian class itself, access to the Guardian tower, special quests, weapon, armor set, and more. Then bags. You get bags. I think those weapon and armor set are just cosmetics. Man, they should really show us. Man, they're not showing us. So I can't really tell you guys if this weapon and armor set are just cosmetics. But I'm pretty sure it's just cosmetics. Okay, anyway. Let's back away from this. There are more things in this shop. Like, look at this potion shop. And in this potion shop, you can either use gold to buy a normal health potion or a normal mana potion. The difference between the normal and the cash up potion is the cash up potion, you can bring a lot of them. The normal potions, you can only stack about 20. And then if you're bringing a lot, you're going to use a lot of slots. And look at this. Here it goes. The premium potion, fancy health potion over here. You can stack 999 of this and it's only purchasable with the cash up currency. The recovery amount is about the same as the normal potion. So that's that. Same as the mana potion. It's the same as the normal mana potion. But you can bring a lot of this fancy mana potion. Now look at this. They're selling us XP boost. 50% more EXP. 
for 20 minutes and here is for the class exp and then the drop rate boost i mean the gold boost there are more in here like this earth day shop but most of the items in here are just cosmetic look at this cosmetic melee weapon cosmetic melee weapon again and then another cosmetic melee weapon let's preview the earth day celebratory sword here goes guys but we're a mage how about the sway handar preview look at this it looks cool now let's back away from this and then how about the community shop oh no not this okay anyway i can't access anything anymore over here because the other shops is in the town i need to get to the town first before i can show you guys the other cosmetics that you can buy in the shops over there yeah most of the items that you can buy with this cash up currency are just cosmetics except for this potions over here this is the thing that you wanted to see this is it but of course this package is, is kind of a uh, wink wink because you can only get this by buying it i hope you guys saw what you needed to see and let's go back and play the game and okay what do we need to do we need to speak with gladwin lars oh yeah i forgot guys you can also buy pets in this game using the cash up currency and then mounts which they call travel forms but it's not a mount it's just you can transform into some kind of creature and then you move faster i hope we can buy one wait a minute can we buy one okay look at this it's not bought with cash up currency but look at this we can preview this pet look at this you can have this duckling and then if you buy this travel form you can become a duckling <laughs> okay let's go do the quest gladwin lars let's go bro skip turning in the quest now give me another quest did you give me anything nope now i need to collect healing potions why would you put the healing potions over there okay there goes another healing potion over here take it now what okay i need to recover sacks of grain this ones where's the others okay one more there it goes i see it oh okay here's one we're done with the quest turn it over gladwin lars turning in now i need to get a weapon slain void drakkar sword how can i get that hey i just noticed there's some kind of a monster over there do i need to fight him void drakkar sword oh okay i need to defeat one monster over here then i'm gonna get the sword okay fight this guy loot and there he goes we got the weapon man i'm enjoying this game it's very simple you don't think that much <laughs> Okay, plus as you've seen, the cash up isn't that pay to win and that's just my opinion guys. Because I know some people that always tells me that there's no such thing as not that pay to win. You're either pay to win or not. Okay, anyway, turning in. Now I need to use the anvil. Okay, craft. We're crafting. Man, why is it a sword? We're using a staff. Task complete. Close this. Now I need to open my inventory and then equip a sword. What? Now we're using a sword. Okay. Talk to Gladwin Lars. Turning in. Okay. What's our new quest? Test sword on void crawlers. Okay. I think this is a void crawler. Attack him. Okay. So it doesn't matter if we're using a sword. Or whatever. Where's the other void crawlers? There's another one over here. Let's go. Man. The auto targeting is kind of annoying. I'm not yet ready to fight that guy. Okay, anyway, turn over the quest. Ooh, we can add some stats. Okay, turning over the quest. Skip this. Turning in. Okay, now I need to talk to High Lord. Okay, I'll drag. Let's go. Look at this. People playing. Turning in. This is a popular MMORPG on mobile devices, guys. Just in case you're not aware. On PC, not so much. Now, what's our quest? Investigate the keep gate. I think that's the gate that we're talking about. Okay, let's go. Ah, monsters in here are aggressive, but they're not following me. Let's just dodge them. Oh, we got a new skill. Let's test it out. Lightning skill. Let's go. It's done. Nice. Okay, most of my attacks are single target. I don't have any AOE attack. Open up our bag. I think I got some gloves, which is nah, not the... What's happening here? Look at this. This thing is not disappearing. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, there it goes. It disappeared. Check the gate. Nope. Oh, okay. Here it is. Open this up. Investigating. Now I need to go back. Okay. Oh, we need to use the catapult to open up the gate. Let's go. 
catapulted up. Now what? Oh, okay, we need to talk to Aldrich. Another cutscene. Skip. Okay, give me a quest. What happened? Oh, what happened there? I turned over the quest. Okay, there it goes. Close this. Now I need to find an axle. Come on, parts for the catapult. There goes the axle. And then a gear. And then a rope. Where is the rope? There it goes. Get the rope. Quest complete. Now let's fire the catapult. Here goes nothing. Oh, look at that. Boom. You got hit. Now I need to walk inside the dragon watch keep. Okay. Give him hell, boys. We need to fight this boss over here. Scorm. What are you doing here? Okay. Cutscene. Skip. Okay. He gave me a quest. I need to defeat the void war fiend. This guy. Let's go. Look at this. He can help me out. Stun him. Let's go. And the boss is defeated. That's Adventure Quest 3D from the start. And I forgot to tell you guys, Adventure Quest 3D is a cross-play MMORPG. You can use your Android device to play this game. It looks the same. Now, playing this again in 2022, hardly anything changed from the last time I played. The questing is still the same. Now, the combat is tab targeting. And the enemies early on uses telegraph attacks very often. So even though while attacking you're rooted, you still need to move away and avoid attack patterns of enemies. And I must say, the lack of point and click feels very odd. But I think that's just me. The stab targeting and point and clicking or click to move is always together. Well anyway, the graphics is okay. Not that impressive, but looks nice enough. As for the game's performance, it ran well. All in all, Adventure Quest 3D, 2022 is still a playable MMORPG. And if you like crossplay functionality, AQ3D offers it. And if you want to check the game out, the details are on the screen. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, share, and then subscribe to be part of the Gaming Hardcore family. And as always, this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.